understand and identify your triggers and what sets you off. Every man in here, I'm calling y'all men, every man in here has to understand their triggers and what sets them off. Because if you don't, under, if you don't control your triggers, your triggers will control you. They will control every action you make, right? Every step, every move you make, your triggers finna control you, right? How do I know this? Because I've worked in public schools for the last 10, like 12, 13 years, right? In the community, right? In the inner city, I've worked all over the country doing work with youth and young people. And something that I really find is that when you're in a state of what's called, um, I won't say constant suspense, right? But when you're in a state, when you're always worrying or always trying to like think about what's going to happen next. And, no, you're in a state of high alert, right? Like you, you, you feel like you can't get caught slipping. Like, you, it, it, like it can't happen that you get caught slipping. When you're in a state of high alert, what ends up happening is this, y'all. We're supposed to have something and listen to this process, right? This is something that's going to help you manage your triggers. We're supposed to go from thought to process to action. Thought is right here, right? Process is supposed to be right here and action right here. But guess what happens? The more stress you go through and the more traumatic situations you go through, the more emotional situations, that process goes from here and it shrinks and it shrinks and it shrinks and it shrinks to where it's thought, action. Oh, process. That's why you see people that get, get, get talked down when they get mad, because that's the process that's happening. What's just happening? Because sometimes when you have to, when all you know is survival, that's where you go to a survival mindset. So the idea is to react rather than to respond. See, when you react, you in a moment. But when you're in control of your triggers, and you know what triggers you and you know yourself. You don't react. You can respond to what's happening around you. Because guess what, y'all? If someone knows your triggers, they got you in their pocket. Right. If someone knows your triggers, they got you in their pocket. That means they know what button to press to get you mad. Right. Like how many of you ever had a friend that, you know, you know, what's going to get him mad. Right. You know, that's pressing the trigger. Like, you know, I just press this button here, press, press it here, like, boom. And you know that. So how many of you. So some of y'all might know your friends better than you know yourselves. Because some of you might never ever thought about triggers. So my challenge to you is to think about what your triggers are, what sets you off. Because when you know it, you know how to respond to it. Right, and you know how to act to it. Mm. So the speech was very inspiring. It actually helped me think better on myself whenever I have a temptation. If, like, for example, if someone's annoying me or something, I know how to calm myself, try to separate myself. Um, the speech was very powerful. It allowed for me to understand what I could do better in my life. And understanding that not everything that happens around me I have to react to. Word. I can instead choose to separate myself from that situation and step better myself to not be to like not fight against it and then react to it first thing. The speech was made me acknowledge that there's no limits to no black man and that a black community needs to be stronger as a whole and that be vulnerable to people that you think you can share to and open up to and just be a powerful black community, black man. To each other and have a strong, loving home. Friends? Her. Hey, yo, fellas, where we at, man? Can I get a year real quick? Yeah! Get in there, baby. Let's go. Let's go.